Welcome to our channel. Today we're going to be talking about one of the many things you can do with all of your extra eggs. Turn it into egg white protein powder. Welcome back guys, thanks for joining us. Here we're going to show you how we turned our house into our small family farm. We're going to show you how we accomplished lots of small projects around the house and how you can do them too. So as you guys know, we have chickens here and we have so many eggs we don't know what to do with. We have eight chickens and probably get three to four eggs a day and there's only so many times you can scramble and make them over easy, make omelets, all of that stuff. So in the next video series, we're going to show you what we do with a lot of these extra eggs. We're going to try some new things as well as show you some old things that we do all the time to, to use up our eggs and uh, to use them wisely. So for our first recipe, we're gonna be making egg white protein powder. This is a great protein powder, especially if you have chickens, because you get eggs and it's practically free. It's also better than whey protein powder because it has less fat content. And if you have a whey protein allergy, this also helps too, and it also tastes a lot better than the whey protein powder. All you need to get started is a few things. So first of all, your eggs. We have two dozen eggs from our chickens. A pot you can boil water in. You need a blender, a food processor, a coffee bean grinder, uh, you also need some baking pans and something to put the egg whites on. Uh, in this case, we're going to be using some silicone trays or some aluminum foil. We're going to take our eggs, put them in this pot, and then we're going to fill the pot up with cold water about an inch above the eggs. That'll work perfect. Next, we'll take this to our stove and we'll get it heated up. We'll set the heat to high and we'll wait till the water starts boiling. Once the water starts boiling, we're going to go ahead and cut the heat Put the cover on and let it sit for 10 minutes. So while we're waiting for the eggs to get finished, we're gonna get our ice bath ready to make sure they stop cooking as quickly as possible. So we got our sink, a pot, and a bunch of ice. Just gonna dump it in. So just about halfway full, then we're gonna fill it up with some cold water. Okay, only about halfway. And then we'll get our eggs once they're ready. And then we're just gonna scoop them in. So what this does, a couple things. It stops the cooking right away, and that helps it just to be a, a nicer looking hard boiled egg. But it also makes it easier to shell when you do that. I'm scooping it out instead of pouring them in, just so that we don't melt all the ice in there automatically with this hot water. So I'll kind of just stir this up, let it sit for a couple minutes, and then we'll get the shelling. So while we're waiting for the eggs to cool down, we're gonna get our oven turned on. The lower the better, and because the lower and longer you can cook it, the better these this is gonna turn out. Okay, in this case, the, this oven only goes down to 170, so it'll only probably take about six hours to cook. If you can do it down to 120 or so, it'll take upwards of 10 or 12 hours. Okay, the other thing we're gonna get prepped while we're waiting is these pans. In this case, we don't need the foil because we have the silicone. Go ahead and lay them out. And just get our silicone ready. If, if you have to use foil, uh, we'll just go ahead and shape the foil to the top of the pan. And we'll set these aside while we're waiting. So to shell these, we got a little setup here. So we got our eggs in this bin with uh, ice water. We got a bin in the center and that'll be our trash for our shells and whatnot. And then we got our pot over here for the whites uh, to start our next step with. So it took about 15 minutes, not too bad. Uh, now we have our old water, our bowl full of egg shells and yolks and our egg whites. Uh, we'll try and use this as much as possible. We'll save all of these shells and yolks and we'll mash them up and give them back to the chickens as a snack, which they love. And then we'll take our egg whites and we'll start mashing them up. All right, so now we got our pans with our silicone lining and we got our egg whites. All we're gonna do is take the egg whites, cut them up in little chunks and set them on the sheets and make sure to give them plenty of room and just do that for all two dozen. All right, so now that they're all uh, crumbled up into pieces, you can see we're trying a few different methods. I got bigger crumbles. My dad's got smaller crumbles. We'll see what turns out best. It is about one o'clock right now, 12.30 or so. Six hours should be done about 6.30, 7 o'clock. So I'll get them in. So we had our egg whites in there for actually about 10 hours or so, and they've been cooling off a little bit now, so let's get them out and take a look. So 
So as you can see, they've shriveled up quite a bit and uh, they've gotten smaller and they've gotten brown and hard. Uh, probably, um, I imagine that's probably just due because it's all protein and it just browns because of the uh, Maillard reaction. <laughs> so uh, what we're gonna do now that they're nice and cool, we got our blender over here. Uh, we are gonna put them all inside the blender and then give it a bunch of pulses and see if we can turn it into a uh, powder. Really you want to use a food processor or even a coffee grinder would work best for this. We don't have either one. We just have this uh, Ninja blender that'll, should work fine. We'll Which see. Which is our sponsor. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know how well you can see that there, um, but part of it is dust-ish and part of it looks like pebbles. Um, didn't work that great. We've been grinding it for I don't know, a couple minutes now. So, we have a coffee grinder here. We're gonna try that and see if that works better. Wow. Try that, not bad. Yeah. <laughs> that worked much better. So we'll get the rest of it in. Just take a few chances. Well, we got everything ground down. Um, it kind of looks more like a fine ground, uh, like salt than a powder, but uh, we'll take a look and see how it tastes. So here is two dozen eggs. <laughs> yeah. Two dozen egg yeah. whites. Yeah, so this is egg whites from two dozen eggs. It's basically got no water, it's been dehydrated almost, and it's turned into this egg white protein powder. Not very much. All right, so here's the moment of truth. We got some regular uh, vitamin D milk. Uh, we're gonna pour a little bit in each of these glasses and two of them are gonna be regular. Two will be the uh, protein powder egg white mixture and we'll see if we can taste the difference between the two. So the first thing we've noticed is uh, when we mix it in with our milk, it, uh, it doesn't really mix in too well. Kind of settles at the bottom. <laughs> um, but we'll see how it tastes, so. Can't really taste it. No, I mean it tastes like a little caramelized almost, but yeah. But it tastes like there's some texture to it, but not bad. You can smell a little bit of the egg smell, but yeah, it does add a lot of protein to the milk, though. Yeah. So, is it worth it? <laughs> if you have a lot of extra eggs and a lot of extra time, it might be worth it. Yeah. Otherwise, I mean, we probably spent. Um, a few hours on this just to get this much, and really, this is probably what, like three protein shakes worth? Yeah, that's Maybe. probably three. Three or four. Three or four. Four and protein shakes. I mean, that's probably a, a couple dollars worth. But if you divide that up into four, then each protein shake probably has 25 grams of protein in it. Yeah. So, eh, it's good. If you have a lot of eggs and a lot of free time, sure, go ahead and do it. Yeah. Well, thanks guys for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. Make sure to click the bell icon too to be notified when we do come out with our new videos. Thanks guys, we'll see you next time.